Well, I'm joined today by Dr. John Kennedy, a cardiologist, Dr. Brian Quebman, a bariatric surgeon in Elaine Morado, an associate professor in health systems management and policy with the Colorado School of Public Health. And in a minute, I'm going to be talking with Lisa. She's in the audience. She participated in one of the clinical trials. Welcome to all of you. So glad to have you here. I'm getting a lot of questions about this, as I'm sure all of you are as well. And I want to start with you, Dr. Quebman, because your practice is all about trying to get patients to lose weight. And whether it's diet and exercise, surgery, you're always looking for new tools. What is your perspective on this? Do you envision yourself using these medicines as part of the regimen? Well, no question. These medications sort of give us hope that something's going to fill that void for our patients. So, Dr. Kennedy, you're looking at it maybe from the perspective of a cardiologist, a heart doctor. Worried about side effects? Yeah, I am. I, I, I'll say this. Uh, a drug, a pill, is definitely not the answer because I see firsthand how these drugs can affect your cardiovascular health. And Elaine, you, you were a voting member on the advisory panel at the FDA, right? Right. And you voted? Yes, on one. And I think for me, the difference was that companies were much more thoughtful in the second round with how to introduce these, in, these drugs into the market, taking into account the risks that might happen and how do we do it in a safe, prudent way um, so that folks can get the benefit of the drugs while minimizing risks. And one of the things that I want to ask you, Dr. Quebec, because you're mentioning using these as sort of the middle ground, but the, the one thing that I think the studies did show is that these are medicines that you would theoretically need to be on permanently. The fact is any successful weight loss treatment is going to be a permanent treatment. Even if it's diet and exercise, you have to do it permanently. To me, the same as uh, antihypertensive, something to control your blood pressure is something you have to take the rest of your life. Once your blood pressure is down, you don't stop taking it. So with these medications, the real question to me is, what's the safety long term? Not, you know, should somebody use a medication long term for disease process? We do it all the time. 